J.P. Sportsman grew up in New York where he fell in love with baseball. I think my dad, my family, they always loved the game. Uh, my dad ended up playing in college for a little bit and uh, he always you know, got me playing by the time I was three years old. Uh, I also have nine, eight or nine best friends from my neighborhood that uh, we used to play wiffle ball all the time. Um, and just being outside, you know, always playing baseball, always playing sports, I think, you know, kind of instilled that in me. In 2014, Sportsman was drafted in the 27th round by the Oakland Athletics. Through his time with the team, he made three minor league All-Star games, but in the summer of 2018, something happened that would forever change his life. So July of this past, or this past July, I took a 98 mile hour fastball off my forearm, shattered my forearm. Um, and the healing process and, and, you know, the timeline just really took a damper on me. For the first, you know, two or three months I was in a cast, it was probably one of the lowest points of my life. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, you know, I, I had, you know, coming from playing baseball all my life, you know, I had to make some, you know, tough decisions moving forward, what I was going to do with my life. And um, I think there was a... There was a time period where, you know, one of my best friends who is in the big leagues now, you know, made a comment to me that, you know, I was pretty good at, you know, being a hitting coach and, you know, the developmental part. And that kind of clicked for me and, and kind of made me, you know, you know what, I want to stay in baseball. I want to create something, you know, that I could be passionate about. After his injury, Sportsman moved to Arizona, made a deal with Push Performance Pro and opened up a development facility. I get here about 7.38 in the morning, I actually work out myself. Um, and then I have about, you know, groups of three or four from nine to four every day. We, we do a lot of hitting, um, you know, just creating routines, uh, doing some, you know, machine, and then a lot of glove work, defensive work. And then, you know, a lot of the guys also train here, you know, from a strength standpoint, so mixing in lifts at that point. When Sportsman isn't busy at his development facility, he also has a merchandise line called JP3. Three of my best friends uh, from home started their own, you know, clothing company. And I would always, you know, pitch ideas in, you know, show them, you know, styles of what, you know, we were doing in pro ball, what we wore, what our merchandise was. And, um, you know, once I started this, I always knew, you know, I, I always liked gear. I always liked, you know, to have the fresh stuff. and. Um, you know, I wanted to incorporate my friends in that and, you know, build a brand. And I thought that apparel was, you know, a good route to take. No matter his role, Sportsman loves baseball. And that's what drives him to do what he's doing today. Because I love baseball and I want to continue to see the game get better and better. Um, you know, the ent entertainment standpoint, I mean, it's America's pastime. And, uh, you know, I, I just want to continue to help guys get better and, and you know, get to the big leagues because, you know, there's nothing like it. When you step on that field in front of 50,000 people, there's, it's just something you can't describe.